Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. If, for if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in, and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I, because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Our response, your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the, of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown from his, for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Your blessing, Father. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, 
In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In today's first reading, the Corinthian church has been on their own without Paul's direct influence for about two years. Many false prophets and teachers have sprung up in their midst. Paul has received word of these things and is now writing to try to turn this around. In the opening lines, he is desirous that they would listen and hear his words. He has heard that the false teachers have boasted much of themselves and their teaching, attempting to dissuade them from the truth that Paul had provided them previously. Paul now feels the need to boast a little on himself on his own behalf. He wanted them to understand that unlike the false prophets in their midst, he preached only the truth of Christ crucified. He wanted them to see the truth of his sacrifice, Jesus' sacrifice, for the way that he had presented, been presenting to them. While the others demanded compensation for their work, Paul had always worked to provide for his own needs, leaving no doubt that his motives and his teachings were very sincere. His own boasting was all about the sacrifices that he had made for Christ, not to lift himself up to make himself look good, but to always proclaim Christ and, and the message of salvation. Like the Corinthians that he spoke of in the reading, we too are betrothed as the bride of Christ. We too must always be on guard against false prophets and teachers. The weakness, strife, and grief that Paul bore for Christ and that we may be called on ourselves to bear may seem like boasting to some. It is only in humility that we may boast of this. We must always bear in mind that Christ's power on the cross was made perfect by his own suffering and death. We can know this same power from Christ that St. Paul experienced by his own humility, by daily living through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All being together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. For all who have vowed themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace among nations that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the elderly who suffer from isolation, or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. For ourselves gathered here and for those who are watching on video, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. And for Virgil F. Christian, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our 
offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for our good and the Lord of all the church. O God, when the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched on his hands as he endured his passion. So as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray about, and down in the spirit of bond and life to be called, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> After Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Amen. 
Let us pray. As this perception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Lord, the Archangel, defend us from battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive you, we humbly pray. And to you, you O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, trust us in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who want to do the world seek the ruin of souls. Amen. Divine praise and protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, you God and you man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Himself. Blessed be the great mother of God and the miracles of Holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, from which you Blessed be God and the angels and his saints. 